Okay, so first of all, I'm going to copy the folder path from here and then paste it into Excel. Then I will do equals this cell here and the and symbol, open quotation marks, slash, and then the asterisk symbol. And the asterisk symbol is a wild card and can represent anything. Then close quotation marks and enter. Then select this cell here and go to formulas and define name. And the name will be file names from this cell above. And it will be refers to equals files open brackets. And then select this cell here with the folder path, then the extra slash added on the end, and then the asterisk symbol. And close brackets and enter. Now that I've done that, I can type equals file names and it will give me a list of all of the files in this folder. At the moment, they are spilling to the side. So in order to fix that, I'll wrap the transpose formula around this and then it will spill downwards. Then if I go back to File Explorer and choose a different folder, I can copy this folder path here and paste it into Excel and the list of file names will update for the files in this folder. And if you have dynamic arrays, this is all you'll need to do. But if not, you'll only be able to show one result at a time. So you will have to use the index formula and put this around the file names. And then the row number will be rows, open brackets, a dollar sign one, colon, a one, close brackets, close brackets again, and enter. Then you can click and drag this down to get a list of all of the file names. And after the list of files, you'll get a bunch of error messages. So in order to hide this, we'll wrap all of this in the if error formula. So if this formula here produces an error, then I want it to show me a blank cell, which is two quotation marks without anything in between them and close brackets and enter. Then when I drag this down, it will hide all of the error messages. Now, if I change the folder path here to a different folder, both of these will update. Just make sure that you drag this formula down far enough that you aren't missing any files off of the end of the list. Now, when it comes to searching for particular file types, we need to update this here and add another AND symbol in and then link it to this cell and enter. And then I can type in the file extension here. So for example, I could search for just text files and then it would show me just the text files here. And I can also search for PDF files, for example. And if I want to search for Excel spreadsheets, then the file extension is XLSX and enter. And then if I leave this blank, it will show me all of the files in that folder. Now, in order to save this, it needs to be saved as a macro enabled workbook. So select no. Then change it from an Excel workbook to an Excel macro enabled workbook and save. Okay, so in this video, I have shown you how to get a list of files from a folder into Excel, and that is everything.